Hey there fellow white shavers, Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Today is Monday, so I am working on three days of growth. I have not shaved since Friday. Uh, I'm going to participate in at BBS Live on Instagram's Citrus Week. So I just got this in anyways. This is uh, Ecto Cooler. I know it might be backwards for you, but it um, is called Ecto Cooler, E-C-T-O Cooler. And this is a special soap that uh, Maddie Lindholm made for Marion the Barbarian. This is based on a high sea scent that uh, Marion enjoyed as a kid, and it's very tangerine. So it's basically tangerine forward, and I believe it's highly mentholated. So I can smell the menthol in it, so we'll see how cold it gets. Uh, I don't have a, there's no matching splash for it, so we're going to keep it orange, uh, at least in color in the name, Le Orange Noir uh, from Fine for the after. We do have an orange brush. This is my no-name synthetic knot brush that I got from my buddy Tristan. We are in my brother-in-law produced, I think this is um, uh, Roger Quintero designed uh, plan, a 3D printed bowl. So we are all lathered up already in the bowl. And uh, for a razor today, we were gonna try the supply company, but we we're gonna try the comfort um, plate on here. So these plates come off, the screw comes out, the plate gets replaced, and then it just screws back in. Um, there is no blade in here at this point. And uh, the last time I used it, it was the sensitive, I think. So there's one, two, and three dots. Uh, so this is the middle one. Um, the other one was, um, the sensitive one was easy to use, but was certainly not very efficient. So we'll see how the efficiency goes on this. This is the pack of injector blades that the, um, uh, the supply company, excuse me, comes with. And uh, so we will load it. So um, it goes into the back of the razor here. So you wanna make sure you line up the, the top of this thing where the blades are, lines up with the top um, of this here so that this will go into the back right here between the plate and the base. So that will just slide in there like so. So you have the top here lined up with this part and you can see the top of the blade in there. And then you just simply use this tab here and slide it over to load the blade. So you can see it'll push the blade in to the blade going into place. And once it's in place, you just simply pull that out. So I know many of you have probably seen an injector razor loaded before, but those of you that haven't, there you are. So you just wanna make sure that your everything is aligned and uh, it all looks good to me, um, all aligned in there. All right, and then uh, for those of you who don't have I recommend a blade bank or something. I know people have converted other things, baby jars, uh, glass jars, and cut a hole in the cap, but you definitely don't want to put um, plain razor blades in your trash. This has lasted me over a year, so there's over a year of blades in here. You usually get three to four, maybe even five shaves out of, DE, out of a DE blade. All right, so I'm gonna wet the face and get started. So I'm not sure if Ecto Cooler is still available. I know it went through a first run. Um, I got this uh, on the second run. Uh, this was made, like I said, especially for Marion the Barbarian. I will link his, I will link Maddie's channel, Marion's channel, and then Marion's email uh, that you can email if you're interested in this. Um, this is a soy-based soap. So it's a little bit different than other soaps. I don't really see a lot of soy out there. I think somebody mentioned that Southern Witchcrafts use some soy in theirs. Um, so this is not a tallow-based um, soap. So I guess I don't know if you call it vegan or just non-tallow. Um, but this has, uh, on the back of the lid, it has Manny's um, sticker there, but it is soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils, uh, and menthol. So very simple recipe, uh, but very effective recipe. If you've tried any of his soaps, he does have other flavors. He has lime, he has orange. Um, I don't think the Harry Wong that I used last week is available anymore.
I can smell the menthol, but it's not too, uh, too much. You can feel a little bit of cooling starting on the face. So there's definitely menthol in there. We I mean, definitely get a bright burst of tangerine, which is very nice. All right, so the angle on this blade, they say is I think 10 to 15 degrees. So here you're parallel, right? Here you're 45 degrees. So you're somewhere, you know, in this. In this. Dad, yes, you know where the big bag of food is for the kittens? Yes, sweetheart, but I don't think we need it right now, but it is in the coat closet. Okay. That's another story here we'll get into in a minute. So <laughs> anyways, uh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. I know we've had some new subscribers lately. I appreciate that. Uh, if you've been here for a while or been around since the beginning, truly appreciate it. And if you're watching this for the first time and I'd like you to consider subscribing below, hit that subscribe button. I know you can. Uh, if you like what you see at all, hit that like button. Always helps the channel. So just wanted to get that plug in there right in the beginning. Uh, or almost the beginning. Um, anyways, so the angle on this is kind of dictated to you by the shape of the head. Um, so they say the um, this part is about 10 to 15 degrees or you're holding it. It is angled, um, the, the handle is angled a little bit with the head going that way, but um, very easy to find. So not much blade feel on this either really at all. Um, it is, I would say comfortable for sure. Definitely, um, these are the, the blades that came with the supply company. I don't know who makes their blades, but definitely easily cutting through three days of growth. So my daughter bursting in here. So we had an interesting weekend. Um, the family talked me into two kitties. Yep, that's right, two. So the kids have been wanting a pet. We got them fish. I didn't really satisfy particularly my daughter's desire for another pet. She really wanted a dog. And my wife is not a dog person. I'm not a cat person. I haven't been anyway. I've always been more of a dog person. But on Friday, my wife was off work and my daughter, and my daughter, and they called me on Friday and then my wife was like, hey, I'm gonna take Carly over to the, the cattery at the Humane Society just to look at the cats. I was like, just to look at the cats? I said, you know, I was like thinking to myself, that's a dangerous road to go down, right? Because you don't go to the Humane Society usually and look at kitties and not come home with one. Anyways, I got there and there was a, uh, a wait, like an hour wait to go in because they're only still only letting so many people in at a time to view the kitties. Um, they still have to mask up and everything, the Humane Society. So they didn't want to wait, so they left. And my son was in uh, preschool. So she's like, well, maybe we can go tomorrow. I was like, really? And so all night long, Friday night, my daughter's like, wow, we're gonna go see the kitties. We're gonna, you know, basically we're gonna get a cat. We're gonna get a kitty. And I was like, you know, sweetheart, I tried to do the, we're gonna go look, maybe we'll get a cat or a kitty. Um, you know, but just be prepared. Well, I can feel the cooling when the water, when the cold water hits my face. It's really nice. It's supposed to be the hottest day of the week until the weekend here anyways today. So that's nice. Um, anyway, so I was like really trying, like, but I could tell that my wife kind of wanted one. So, I mean, she was kind of you know, saying the same thing, but I could tell that she wanted one. And, um, you know, both kids were like, 
amped up. And I was telling Heather, I'm like, you know, these kids, I said, man, there's going to be some tears when we leave. <clears throat> My tears. Turns out. Anyways, we get in there and we, they have like a couple different areas where they have some kitties and they have them kind of separated by litter. Got a couple that were by themselves. And of course my wife had done some reading, some research, that it was better to get two kitties um, than one because they can entertain themselves and be more less dependent on the owners for entertainment when they have a, a partner. So I'm like, okay. So not just one, but two kitties. So we go into the, uh, the cattery, they call it. And we look at a few. And the first room that we get put in has like one, there's like four cages. Um, and then, so one of them had some older cats or like two and a half months old. Um, one of them had a cat by itself. It was really skittish. One of them had three white cats in it. And my wife was like, oh, white cats. Like, they're so beautiful. And uh, so one of them, there are two males and a female. The ma one male was actually completely white. And uh, the other male had like one gray spot on its head. And then there was a female that had three spots on her head. So we ended up with the female, because my daughter wanted a girl, and um, the male that was, that was all white. My wife wanted both males, but um, I was like, Carly wanted the, the female. And I was like, if she doesn't get the female, <laughs> and we get two males and we make her get a male, uh, that's not going to... It's not going to be as exciting for her. So we ended up with the female and the one male. So, of course, daddy acquiesced and gave in. It's hard to say no for me. So we ended up with two kitties on Saturday. So that was the excitement here this weekend. And my daughter lost two teeth. On Saturday, after we got the cats, we brought them home put them in the bathroom. We didn't have any supplies, any stuff. They gave us like a little bag of, they use these um, wood chunks for, uh, they look like my Traeger pellet grills actually, for um, litter and they gave us a little bag of that. So we put a pan out with some litter and some water and some blankets in the bathroom floor, left them in there. Went to go get some cat food and you know, everything that goes with it. And um, we're in line at Dutch Brothers, which is a coffee place up here. I don't know. Uh, we have a lot of coffee kiosks here in the Northwest. Um, so Dutch Brothers is a big chain of coffee kiosks. But they also have like, we had an Italian soda and they had smoothies for the kids because it was the afternoon, it was hot. It was all of a sudden, my, we're in line, we're, we're, I'm paying and my daughter's like, my tooth fell out. So she's like bleeding against the grain of last pass. Um, so she loses a tooth, tooth fairy comes. And then uh, yesterday she loses a second tooth. Her and my son were kind of messing around and <laughs> um, she, he was, trying to block her from seeing the cats. The cat, we had the cats on the floor. We had to kind of pen them in. And so they were on the couch and my son was laying on the couch and Carly came to go lay on the couch next to him and kind of perch over the side of the couch to look at him. And he, and he lifts his butt up right into her face and he not, her other tooth is pretty loose. So, and it just came right out. So she lost two teeth in two days. So she lost this one and this one. So she already had lost her two middle ones on the bottom. So she lost one on both sides. So it's really cute. 
that was my excitement this weekend. How was your guys' your folks' this weekend? Hopefully it was good. But I will say the cats are a little easier than dogs. I mean, we put them in the bathroom at night right now because they're only seven weeks old, but they are already. So we got them from the Humane Society. And so uh, they are already spayed and neutered. And they've had their first shots. But we're, you know, we put them in the bathroom. So we're leaving them in the bathroom at night right now because they're so little. Um, and not a peep. So we didn't take them out to go potty or nothing. That was one thing about getting a puppy that's a lot of work is that first potty training, sleeping through the night thing. They're just like a baby. So on the third pass, I don't do the fool's pass on the nose against the grain. I just move my face around and from different directions up here. So with my story, I'm not talking much about the razor, but uh, it is definitely um, shaving very smoothly. Hopefully this plate is more efficient. Soap is great. Thank you, Marion, for getting this to me. Um, it's not bad. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the other two Maddie soaps I had, I got as gifts, but this one I paid for is like 16 bucks with shipping. Um, so, but, and it's, it's 70 ounces, but it, a little bit of this soap goes a long way and makes a ton of lather. So this will last quite some time. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face. It's definitely got some menthol. It feels good. That's refreshing. All right, so we went a little long today because of my story, <laughs> my cat story. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more maybe uh, on the next video regarding the, uh, sorry, I'm find the splash there, uh, the actual razor. I want to use the next plate up, which is the ultra close. So this is fine. Leon, Le Orange Noir. It's a very nice scent. Okay, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in today, folks. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good week. We'll see how many videos I get uh, get done this week. So we'll see you soon on the channel. Thanks for tuning in.